It's another blustery day at Southern Men, but we've got some cover crop coming in. I'm Cody Bacher coming to you with the scoop from the field. So a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to look at some comparisons with some closing wheel systems on planters. In a field I was in, I was looking at the factory case IH single wheel compared to a John Deere planter with uh, furrow cruiser wheels on it. And coming back 21 days after planting, I noticed a very large difference in the, in the stands there. And after talking to the grower and going through what those differences are, we realized that, okay, the furrow cruiser had a 30 count per hundred advantage. It's about 7,000 plants per acre. That's pretty significant. There's so many other variables involved in that setup though. So the furrow cruiser versus the single wheel closing system, it's not apples to apples because the two different planters could have been slightly different depth, different speed. Operators were running things a little bit differently possibly. So it's not as much of an apples to apples comparison. I'm only making some anecdotal observations anyway, but I found a better scenario where I can compare some things. And in this field here, I've got a factory deer planter with the smooth rubber round closing wheels. And I'm looking at the difference of adding a furrow force closing system to some wheel track rows here. So the grower had triples on the tractor, worried about a little bit of compaction still from those wheel track rows. So I've flagged out some yellow flagged rows here are the smooth factory rubber wheels here and the white flags are furrow force. So what we're seeing is some slight differences can be significant, but those slight differences in these rows on emergence is, uh, is going to lead to a better stand. So on, the, on these wheel track rows here, I've got a 21 count and a 21 count, same exact stand here from the smooth rubber to a furrow force. But when I get to the middle of the planter on 12 and 13 here, not wheel track rows, I've got an 18 count with the factory rubber, smooth rubber wheel, and a 21 count. Again, anecdotal, this is only 10 feet, but I've got an, uh, a 30 count advantage there with the furrow force. The other wheel track rows over here when I get to 14, 15, 16, when I'm looking at those, I've, I've got around a 200 count there with the furrow force wheels. So I've still got, I've got that advantage on the stand. If I'm getting even a, even a 10 to 15 count advantage, that's pretty significant that tells our growers, okay, maybe, maybe I've got to look at this a little closer where that's the only variable I've got in this field. I can make a good anecdotal observation here that even though it's not repeated several times, I get a good idea at least of what those closing systems are doing here. And we can get our growers to produce a better stand. We're doing really good this year with our planning progress. We're 95% done. Hopefully drying out a little bit today again, get the rest of the remaining 5% in. But these beets are off to a great start with these initial stands we've got. They've got all the moisture they need. We're getting some sunshine. Finally, some heat is going to be coming. These beets are ready to put the skinny pedal down. Give us a good yielding crop here in 2024. Stay tuned for more sweet things to come. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.